Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. My name's Tom, and today we're going to be cooking bacon jam on the Webmaster Touch. So we've got a chimney of charcoal lit. We're going to be using two zone cooking today, so once this is uh, calmed down and starts to wash over a bit, we're going to get it on one side of the barbecue. So we're going to get our charcoal pulled out, so two zone cooking. So we're just going over this side of the kettle. Grill grate in, and then our cast iron pot we're going to be putting over on the indirect side just to come up to temperature slowly and we get that lid shut. So, we've had our cast iron preheating for about five ten minutes, and I'm going to move it closer towards the direct heat so we can get it up to a, a sizzling temperature for this bacon. Go in for our bacon. Every couple of minutes or so, just give it a little toss through. So after another minute or two, once the fat starts to render out, we're going to add our onion. and seasoning. So I'm using core powder from the Rusty Barbecue Company. We've got an offer on this at the moment. Um, we've got a 10% discount code. I'll stick the uh, video with the code in up in an iCard up in the top corner for you to click on. Um, and I'll leave links in the description below. So we're going to go in with a tablespoon of this. Nice generous amount. A nice stir. Shut that lid down and let it all reduce down again. Again, after a minute or two, just want to give it a stir, make sure that nothing's catching. Any gnarly bits we do get in the bottom. Once we add the liquid, they're going to come off anyway and just add to the flavour. So everything's really starting to sweat down now. We're going to add our garlic. One clove. But don't add that directly in with the onions because garlic's more prone to burning. So we add that in at the last minute and then stir it through for a minute before we add our liquid so that it doesn't burn. So garlic's had a minute, so we're going in with our quarter cup of balsamic vinegar and our glass of Jack Daniels and Coke. And lastly, you want to put a tablespoon of dark brown sugar in there. Nice heaped one. Give it a good stir. As you can see, it's starting to boil around the edges. That's what we want. We just want to simmer this for a minute or two. And then we'll move it away from the direct heat and we'll just let it reduce down. So we've got a nice slow boil. So I've decided I'm not going to move this over to the indirect side, I'm just going to let this reduce down here. If you had a much faster boil and you was worried about burning, then that's when you would move over to the other side of the barbecue and just let the temperature, uh, let it reduce down without the temperature being so high. I'm going to leave it here and just let it do its magic. I'm expecting this to take about 20 minutes, all the moisture to come out and then you should get a nice sticky consistency. And then we give it a taste. So it's been about 10 minutes since I last opened up the barbecue and you can see that it is thickening up. So I reckon another 5 to 10 minutes and the moisture will be out and we'll have a nice sticky jam-like mixture. 
Now this is also the point where you want to be giving it a little taste just to make sure that you're happy with the uh, the heat level, um, sweetness level. If you want it a bit hotter you can add things like cayenne pepper, chilli flakes, sweeter, add some more sugar. I'm going to give mine a taste. Just remember that it's like molten lava in there, it's predominantly sugar. It's very hot. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's got a nice level of heat as well as a nice level of sweetness. Just keep reducing it down until we're happy. So at this point when you're really starting to get very little moisture left in there, you need to keep an eye on keeping it moving every minute or so just to make sure that you don't burn any of the sugars that are in there. The moment you're happy with the consistency, get it straight off the heat. I think I'm happy there. I'm going to get some residual heat from your cast iron anyway. So I'm going to move this away from the direct heat and let it cool. The mixture's cooled now, so I've put it into a kilner jar just to keep it. This will keep in the fridge for a couple of days, but it's probably not going to last that long. We've got burgers tonight. I'm looking forward to putting this on. You can see the consistency of it, it's nice and sticky. Nice and sweet, exactly what a jam should be. So this is a recipe I've wanted to put on the channel for a little while and I've just never got round to it. It's been nice to get back on the old weather. So yeah, give this a try. Nice sticky topper, your burgers, hot dogs, or just cheese on toast, it works with people that as well. So if you like what we're doing at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching.